we have office announcements. Tell them about Saturday School. Our next Saturday School will be held March 25th. Come to the attendance office to sign up. There you go. There's going to be a lot of editing. Sorry, Ethan. Next up are our ASB announcements. Today's Spirit Day is... Twin Day! Tomorrow's Spirit Day is... Disney Day! Thursday is Jersey Day, and then Friday is a bit complicated. Um, as you know, this is partnered with our Unified Champions, so they decided all of these Spirit Days, and they would like everybody to dress up as the rainbow tomorrow. So Friday is Rainbow Day, and every class has been assigned a color, teachers and admin, and everybody have been assigned a color so we can make up the colors of the rainbow. So pay attention to what's on your screen. Freshmen wear red, sophomores wear yellow, juniors wear blue, seniors wear green, admin wear orange, and teachers wear purple. The Youth Conservation Corps is accepting applications. For more information, you can go into the front office and talk to Ms. Happy. Attention all current 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. Please join us at YVHS on March 15th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the NPR for a course offering showcase. At this event, you will learn all about course offerings for next year, including dual enrollment, advanced placement, electives, and career technical ed courses. Refreshments will be provided, and we hope to see you there. Course requests for the 2023 to 2024 school year are now open in Synergy. This is your opportunity to tell your counselor what courses you would prefer to take next school year. The CMC coding is still continuing at Copper Mountain College. If you are interested in any engineering field or computer science, consider joining the CMC Coding Club. There you will rotate through club activities that include robotics, 3D printing, 2D animation, building computers, in-game design, and programming. See Mr. Martin in S1 for more information. There are plenty of spots available. Gay students, if you're interested in going to the Whitewater Preserve Creek field trip, please sign up with Mr. Martin in S1 Permission slips are due by Friday, March 17th, literally like two days. Red Cross Club is hosting a clothing drive from March 8th to April 7th. Please donate new and old clothes that are in good condition. Undergarments are not accepted except for new store-bought socks. If donating used clothes, please wash prior to donation. Donation boxes are located in the front office. The junior class is selling Sadie Hawkins proposal grants. These will be $3 with ASB and $5 without. Purchase in the ASB office. The last day to purchase is March 21st. Seniors, the senior outing permission slips need to be turned in by March 22nd. By 2 p.m. in the ASB office. And if you guys miss the due date, you will not make it on the bus. Here are the sports announcements. Tennis had a game on Monday. We will have a sports announcement for you tomorrow. And Swim is competing against DHS tomorrow. We're so excited to announce that Buff Puff is finally full. We have five teams signed up to play. Make sure you come out and watch on the 31st. Powder Puff signups will be open until April 6th. The games will be held on April 21st from 3 to 9 p.m. on the Trojan Field. We need coaches, players, and male cheerleaders. If you are interested in doing any of these things, please come to ASB and sign up or scan the QR code. Kylie and Evie are in charge of this event, so you may also talk with them. The track team is still having a fundraiser. They're selling clothes! This link. The mystery faculty has been accurately guessed. It is... Miss Lamoureux. Kaden Brown and Mr. Main are the two people to correctly guess. Please come to ASB to get your merch. In unison with our Unified Champions team and the Unified Champions advisor, Mrs. Gay, here's a video talking about eliminating the R word. Seven in every ten posts are negative toward people with intellectual differences. Six in every ten posts contain a slur. The Kantar Social Listening Study reviewed nearly 50 million social posts in the U.S. over two years about people with intellectual differences. Over two-thirds of posts were negative, and nearly 29 million contained the R-word and other slurs.
you guys today.